Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn how to calculate pregnancy dates when you only have one ultrasound report and you don't have a last menstrual date. This is in a situation where you don't have any calculators or calendars. Some women do not remember their last menstrual period or they may have prolonged menstrual cycles for six to eight weeks or they may become pregnant during a period of amenorrhea. In such situations, we have to calculate dates according to the early or first ultrasound. Before we start our lesson, let's go over some basic concepts. An average pregnancy is equal to a duration of nine months and seven days. Therefore, if the last menstrual flow is on the 3rd of March, the expected date of delivery will be on the 10th of December for the same year. Another basic concept is that as the pregnancy is 9 months and 7 days, we can divide the pregnancy into 3 parts. The first 3 months, the next 3 months and the last 3 months to make 13, 26 and 39 weeks of pregnancy. If we add 1 week to the date, we can get the expected date of the delivery. If we plug in actual dates into the concept, we see if a woman had her last menstrual period on the 3rd of March, then she would be 13 weeks pregnant on the 3rd of June, 26 weeks pregnant on the 3rd of September, and 39 weeks pregnant on the 3rd of December, and adding one more week, she will be 40 weeks on the 10th of December for the same year. So let's go to the first exercise. A pregnant woman presents in clinic with an ultrasound scan which shows the pregnancy is 8 weeks plus minus 5 days on the 2nd of March. When will she be 13, 26 and 39 weeks and when will be her expected date of delivery? Here, as you can see, we have one ultrasound scan. And whenever we do a calculation with ultrasound dates, there is always an error on the calculation depending upon the time of pregnancy at which this ultrasound examination is done. This error has to be included in the dates. So first of all, we will calculate the 13-week date. If we add 5 weeks to 8 weeks, we get 13 weeks. 5 weeks is equal to 35 days or 1 month and 5 days. If we add this to the 2nd of March when patient had her ultrasound, then she will be 13 weeks on the 7th of April. So her 26th week will be on the 7th of July. And her 39th week will be on the 7th of October. And her expected date of delivery will be 14th of October. And for every date, we will then have to add plus minus 5 dates as per her first ultrasound scan, which was done early. Now we go to exercise number 2. A pregnant woman presents with ultrasound showing the live fetus age 14 weeks plus minus 7 days. You are seeing this patient on the 16th of July. What is the duration of the pregnancy today and when will she be due for delivery? So here we have two dates. One date is the 16th of July when you are seeing the patient and the other date is the 14th week of pregnancy which was done on the 10th of January. So we have to calculate when she will be 26 weeks. The difference between 26 and 14 is 12 weeks. 12 weeks is equal to 84 days, which is equal to 2 months and 24 days. Her ultrasound date is the 10th of January. We add this and we find that her 26th week 
will be on the 4th of April, plus minus 7 days. According to our previous calculation, she will be 39 weeks on the 4th of July, plus minus 7 days, and her expected date of delivery will be 11th July. You are seeing her on the 16th of July. So now she is 40 weeks and 5 days plus minus 7 days. Now we come to exercise number 3. A pregnant woman presents with an ultrasound examination showing fetus is 22 weeks or 14 days on the 3rd of March. You are seeing this patient on the 12th of May. What is her pregnancy duration today and what is her expected date of delivery? So we have one ultrasound examination showing 22 weeks plus minus 14 days on the 3rd of March. So if she was 22 weeks on the 3rd of March, a difference of 4 weeks between 22 and 26 weeks. If we add 4 weeks, which is equal to 28 days to the 3rd of March, we get the new date of 1st of April plus minus 14 days. So she will be 26 weeks on the 1st of April plus minus 14 days. And consequently, she will be 39 weeks on the 1st of July plus minus 14 days. And one week further on, she will have her expected date of delivery on the 8th of July plus minus 14 days. So now we have to find out how many weeks is she on the 12th of May. So the difference between the 1st of April and 12th of May is 42 days. 42 days divided by 7 is 6 weeks. Add 6 weeks to 26 weeks and that is the 32nd week. So she is 32 weeks plus minus 14 days on the 12th of May. A woman presents with an ultrasound scan done on the 7th of April and fetus is 31 weeks plus minus 21 days. You see her on the 29th of May. How many weeks is she today? So this is the next exercise number four. Now, here you see that at 31 weeks, the error becomes much more and now it is up to 21 days. So any calculation which is done on the basis of this ultrasound will contain the error of 21 days. So you want to find out how many weeks is she today and that for that, we find the difference between the 7th of April and the 29th of May, which is 23 days plus 29 days. If you add the 23 days of April to the 29 days of May, the answer is 52. 52 divided by 7 is equal to 7 weeks and 3 days. So that is the difference between the day that she had the ultrasound scan and the day that you are seeing her. So you add seven weeks and three days and this is 38 weeks plus three days pregnancy plus minus 21 days. Exercise number five. Today is the 10th of August. A patient presents to you with an ultrasound scan which was done on the 15th of April. This showed an alive fetus 16 weeks plus minus 10 days. How many weeks is she today? So in this, in this question or problem, the dif there's a difference between the 15th of April and the 10th of August is three months and 25 days. Three months and 25 days is equal to 115 days. If you add 30 days per month, you multiply it by three and add 25 days to it. 
Now to convert 115 days into weeks, we divide by seven and the answer is 16 weeks and three days. Now, if you add 16 weeks to the ultrasound 16 weeks plus three days, it makes 32 weeks and three days plus minus 10 days on the 10th of August. So this is how we have calculated the date of the pregnancy or the weeks of the pregnancy on the date where you saw the patient on the 10th of August, whereas the ultrasound scan was done on the 15th of April. So if you like, we come at to the end of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share and comment below. Press the bell icon to be notified about upcoming videos. Thank you and goodbye.